Hi, welcome to another video. We're going to continue our VR tutorial series and in this one we're going to have a look at teleporting. Let's go! I teleported. That's so corny. So here we are back in our virtual environment and um, we left it where we could pick up our cubes and grab them and, and interact with them in various different ways. Um, and now we're going to do something slightly crazy. I want you to go ahead and if you've been following along with these tutorials, Go ahead and select our XR rig and delete it. Um, I actually want to start afresh and build a new system. Moving forward, this is how we're going to be using our, um, our environment from now on. And it's going to be easier for those people that are just joining in and watching this video maybe for the first time and haven't seen the previous videos. What we're going to do is we have our scene here. Now to teleport, we're, we're going to need a couple of um, components. But first of all, we're going to need to create our XR rig. So go to XR and then stationary XR rig and uh, we're going to need to tweak a couple of settings. First of all, our main camera, change the near clipping plane to 0.1. So as we bring our hands up to our face, we don't start losing bits of the mesh. Then our right hand controller, um, let's go ahead and remove that. And we'll also remove our line renderer. We need to remove the interactor first and then the line renderer. And then we're going to go ahead and add in here the XR Direct Interactor. Like so, you can see it just above my head. Uh, and now that's all okay. We need to add in our model prefab. So go down to the prefabs for our hands, and drag in the right hand model. If you don't have these hands, then you can obtain these from um, a previous tutorial that we did on setting up the hands. I'm gonna get my big head out of the way. Uh, and then we're gonna add a component here. We need our sphere collider. And we need to set the radius to something a little bit smaller so we don't trigger events too soon. Um, and then make sure we mark it as a trigger. Now this is what we had set up in our previous tutorial, but we did it on both hands, showing you that you can interact with the world using both hands. Um, but to enable teleporting, we're going to set up something a little bit different moving forward. So that's our right hand set up. Um, there's nothing more we need to do here. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to our XR rig. And we need to add in a couple of components here. This is the root object for our rig. First of all, we need to add in a teleportation provider. And we need to add a locomotion system. Um, and then we have fields here for system and XR rig. Now these should be generated when we run anyway. Um, but we're just going to copy in what we need now. So it's all done. So it's looking for a locomotion system, which is actually on this object. So we can just go ahead and drag in our XR rig into there. And the locomotion system is looking also for the XR rig. Um, so we can just go ahead and drag and drop that into that. So if we take a look at our left hand controller, you will notice that we have an XR ray interactor and a couple of um, components here for the visuals. The XR ray interactor is what's going to be powering our teleport. Um, so when we press in our select button, uh, it's going to activate a line um, that will then allow us to teleport. But at the moment, we don't have anything to teleport on. We need to tell the system what is teleportable. I don't know if that's a word, but we want to be able to move around on our floor. So we're going to head select our floor, which is called plane. And we see here that we can add in an object called an teleport area. Not an anchor, that's something a little bit different, which I can show you in a second. We want a teleport teleportation area. Now this script comes with um, a lot of interactable events, which is great. Uh, and it also comes with um, a, a custom reticle. So when we uh, select the floor, something will appear on the floor indicating where we can teleport to. We can set that in a second. But what's important for this script is the teleportation trigger. And we can set change this to on select or on activate and these are two buttons the select by default is the grip and the activate is the trigger um, and we will teleport when our grip is released that is on select exit and that's that's perfectly fine that's what we want to do so the teleportation area script is going to allow us to teleport to anywhere in the selected object so what we can do now is we can go ahead and um, just double check everything. So we've got our right hand, and this is just using the standard pickup using the direct interactor. Our left hand is using the XR ray interactor, which is going to power our teleportation. We do need to provide it with our hand model. 
So in our VR hands 2020 prefabs, just dropping our left hand model into there as before. Um, and it would be nice, I think, if we actually took a look at our visual because by default, we're always going to have this giant red line in our scene, which is kind of intrusive. So we're going to set some of these gradients. So our invalid color gradient, you can see is red, which is what you get by default. We're going to go ahead and then open it up and we're going to get this box, which is our gradient editor. Now we don't want it to be a solid line all the way up. So if we go ahead and click on this little right marker here and set this alpha to zero, you can see we get a nice gradient with a bit of fall off. And we're going to move this line up to here. And let's say that rather than red, because it's kind of, it's kind of horrible. Um, let's just make it white. I'll make this one white. We just have this nice white fall off. So this is like your default line. And we'll go ahead and close that one. And then on our valid curve, so when we hit a valid placement, we can do the same again. Let's change this to zero. Let's move this to there. Let's make it a nice valid color. Let's make it maybe I can it's cool blue. Uh want to change that to the same blue. Be a little bit different, so you've got a little bit of variation in the colour. You can see here it's going to go from um, solid to uh, transparent, which is a lot better than having this giant red line in your scene. So now we've got all that set up, we should be good to teleport all around this area. Let's go ahead and test it out now. Right, so here we are back in VR, and as you can see, we've got our XR Ray Interactor, and of course, like a big giant lightsaber. Uh, maybe we could work on the gradient moment, we only really need tiny. Um, and, and make it less intrusive in our scene. But as you can see here, once we go over and we select a valid object, it's going blue, which is awesome. And then we can use this rail interactor as like a distance grab, which is nice. So you don't have to be right close to the object. You can just like highlight it, select, boom, 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 like so. Um, and we still have our direct interactor. So if we want to add, if we want to have the ability to have a little bit more realistic interactions with objects, we can re reach out and uh, specifically pick stuff up. Now to teleport, you see as I go over the floor, um, our beam's going to change to blue, which indicates um, a valid teleport. And then we can go ahead and press our grip and release, and we can move around. That's my teleportation sound effect. Um, what we need to do is we just need to add in our little cursor on the floor, and uh, that'll indicate a bit, a bit easier to people where you might be teleporting to. Let's go ahead and have a look at that now and also introduce the teleportation anchor. Okay, so let's make our cursor that shows up on the floor on our teleportation area. For that, we're going to create a sphere, pretty object sphere. So let's position at zero and change its scale to something a bit smaller. Otherwise, it's going to be a massive um, sphere going around. Um, so let's make it, say, 10 centimeters, I think would work quite well. Like so. Then let's give it a color. Let's go to our materials. I've got, I know from memory, I've got blue and misty material in here, which will look quite nice for that one. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and rename our sphere to something a little bit more sensible. Let's call it teleportation area. Like so, and we'll create a prefab of that and drop it down in, into our my prefab folder. And that can be removed from the scene. And in our teleportation object, the object we're allowed to teleport on, on our script where we have our um, teleportation area script, you have a custom reticule. You can go ahead and drop that teleportation area prefab into there. So now when we hover over, this will get that blue circle on the ground. So what we've created here so far is a teleportation system that will allow us to teleport anywhere in this area. On this game object, uh, it doesn't matter where we aim, we're going to teleport there. But what about if we need to teleport to a very specific location? To do that, we can use something called a teleportation anchor. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a cube. And we're just going to move it to somewhere we want to teleport to. Let's say we wanted to teleport right to the end of our desk. Uh, and I'll place it like so. And I'm going to adjust the scale quick. And move it back up. So this is our little platform that we want to be able to teleport to. 
very similar to the teleportation area. We're going to put a script on here. And that script is going to be called the teleportation anchor. Uh, and it's very similar in layout. You still have all your events. Um, a custom reticle, which we're going to use. Now, we won't use our teleportation area reticle because it'll be blue. We want to know that it's changed. So let's go to my prefabs where I've got my teleportation area. Control D to duplicate. And we will rename this one to teleportation anchor. Again, for anchor. Uh, and we're going to change the color on this one so we know it's a little bit different. Let's make it red. I've got a red material in here. If you need a material, let's go ahead and create one. Pop it in here. And then on our cube, with our teleportation anchor script, let's go ahead and drag in our teleportation anchor. So we should now know when we're in this anchor because our teleporter will go from a blue to a red. And then it doesn't matter what area we're teleported to, if we have our little red cursor here, it's going to snap us to the center. It's always going to put us in the same place. And you can see here we have a match orientation. Now at the minute, we'll just teleport into here and our camera will be facing whatever way it happens to be facing. But if we need it to be facing a very specific way, we can move our teleportation anchor around. You can see we've got a forward direction indicated by the blue little line. So let's say we want to face the desk when we teleport into here and we can set our match orientation from none to camera. So now the camera is going to inherit the rotation of the object. Um, and that is literally it for the teleportation anchor. It's, always, it's only going to allow us to teleport straight to the, this area uh, and then nowhere else inside here. But the area works where you can teleport anywhere. So before we do a build, a couple of little things we want to do. We want to re remove the sphere collider from our teleportation area. Prefab. And the same for our teleportation anchor. We don't want any colliders on there. And then also on our XR rig, on our left hand controller, let's make that line smaller. So where we have our XR interactor line visual, the overall override line length, make sure that's checked. And then set this to 1. And then go ahead and file save. So now with those two little bits out of the way, what we're going to go ahead and do is do a build. So here we are in um, VR, we've adjusted uh, the line, line length here, which is a little bit better. We've probably got a little bit smaller, to be honest. Um, and we've still got all our same interactions. All good. Happy with that. We can still teleport around. You can see we've got a teleportation area, which we can go to and go wherever we want. And then over here, here you can see my teleportation area and that's blue I can go anywhere but to use my teleportation anchor when I go over that my little cursor is going to go red and then when I click it it's going to teleport me there and then it's going to face me in the direction we specified in unity and it's going to lock us to this one position so no matter where we go it's always going to kind of rotate us around the right way um, and so this is working really cool and if we want to come off of our teleportation anchor and go somewhere else we can just do that and then all the way over there, hit our teleportation anchor, steady hands, and then I missed. There we go. And then I'm back on my teleportation anchor. So there we go, that's teleportation. And what we've done is we've set up the ability to use a teleportation area so you can go anywhere on a valid game object. And also a teleportation anchor, which will take you to a very specific location and orientation. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at allowing the player to rotate using the left thumbstick. See you then.